you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Dude, I have the hardest time saying the word subscribe. Seriously, it's like ridiculous. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I hope you liked it. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit this. <laughs> Bam, look at that. Applewood bacon sandwich. Bacon and egg sandwich. A little bit of coffee. Kicking this thing off right. Finally in Catalina. It's gonna be a pretty fun time. Matt's is grabbing his cap, his camera over there. The boat ride this time was way better than last time, dude. Oh my gosh, last time was just a <laughs> literally. I, I almost puked everywhere last time on the boat ride. This time it was nice and smooth. But we're getting started. We're gonna be doing actually the the current regular trail we're not going to do the old trail last time we were here we did the old trail and uh we stopped right at two harbors but this time we're going to do the new version of the trail uh, it's roughly about 38 miles but then with all the extra stuff making it to starlight beach and then the walk back to two harbors it's going to be roughly about 48 miles total walking I'm trying out some new gear and uh we're going to be previewing that on the way which uh you know should make things pretty Pretty interesting this time. I'm trying out a pack that I've never tried before. I literally have never walked with this thing full. And I'm about to take it on 48 uh, miles of walking here over the next few days. So a lot of interesting stuff going on. Well, we are finally here at the Trans Catalina Trail Trail uh, Trailhead, and I just would like to say that uh, the directions that I got from the conservancy that was right in Avalon was oh very simple. You just walk up two blocks, make a right, and then walk up another two blocks, and you'll be there. Uh, we've literally seemed like we've been walking forever and ever uphill yeah. just to get to this point. So it's pretty sweaty. I'm uh, I'm calling BS on those uh, instructions. Uh, I think that gal over there at the conservancy needs to be retrained. She needs to take a class or something because With the uh, gal that works right here at the nature conservancy right down the road blonde hair girl yeah she gave us the right direction she gave us perfect directions she said, you guys are gonna have a ways to go she crushed our spirit <laughs> she said don't think for even a second that you're gonna it's gonna be right here she said right. it's way up the road and sure <laughs> enough it was way up the road <laughs> so thank you to you blonde haired girl brunette haired girl uh you need some training mm, definitely okay so we are apparently a mile two and I don't think that we've necessarily walked two miles on the actual trail. So what I'm thinking is all that stuff that we walked just to get to this point was also included on there. So we've walked now two miles of the 11 that we're supposed to walk today. And uh, yeah, we're making our way up. It's, uh, it's warming up definitely, but uh, it's good to know that, yeah, we, we killed a good portion of the trail just walking up to, uh, to where we thought the trailhead was, but apparently it started way back, uh, kind of by the boat, so. There you go, like Matt was saying earlier, you live, you learn. We're slowly but surely making our way up the trail over here. It, uh, it kind of follows through here and then up the mountain all the way up there. There's some, uh, some guys up there. I, I highly doubt we'd be able to pick them up even if I zoomed in. Eh, maybe, maybe you could see some, some red up there. Right, uh, right up towards the top of the ridge there. Um, but yeah, there's some guys that also started with us. There's some young bucks, so they're moving along pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, we're making a good time. We feel great. The, the weather is really warm, so we're thinking it's going to get quite warm tonight, or rather today. Uh, it's going to get really warm today. Um, but yeah, doing great, having a great time. What a gorgeous day today, man. <laughs> it's Catalina Island. 
Come on, it's still like a little bit hazy. But despite all that, man, it's just beautiful. Yeah, back over there is where the old trail lies, where you would uh, basically come up out of Avalon, which is down right over there, and you'd walk a service road all the way back, 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 till you finally hit the ridge. And then you do a ridge walk all the way across, around through here, up through there, and ultimately end up at that gaze gazebo up there. It's like right there in the picture, I think. Uh, maybe a little bit lower, sorry. Can't quite tell with the sun, maybe about right there. But that's, uh, that's where we're headed. If you were to take the longer route, that would take roughly, gosh, I'd say about maybe five-ish extra miles. So you'd be at five miles when you're up there, where we're just a little bit over three miles when we hit the, uh, the gazebo up there. But yeah, we're doing great. Maddie's behind me just a little bit. We got some other people coming up the trail. But just gorgeous day today on Catalina. We are finally at the first gazebo. Dude, that climb sucked. It's brutally uh, sunny out here right now. Yeah, man, you could absolutely feel it, um, how brutal it is, but uh, we're, we're up here, we're up here. It, I mean, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it certainly wasn't fun, um, you know, once the sun kind of came out. Luckily, there's like a breeze up here, which is gonna be nice because the next part is, is a little bit more flat, a little bit more ridge walk kind of style. Um, until we make it to the reservoir. So uh, we'll be able to kind of regain some of our strength. Um, you know, cause even everything from like the second we got off the boat to about this point, man, it's pretty much just been all up. So it'll be nice to kind of kind of walk some rolly hills and, and uh, not have to expend too much energy. But the next stop is gonna be the, um, the reservoir. We're gonna have lunch over there and then we're gonna make our way into Blackjack uh, for the night. So all in all, everything is going well. Spirits are high and uh, yeah, we met some people on the trail, real nice people. We're going to see them at Blackjack later today. And uh, yeah, good stuff. All right, so we are almost to Hay Press uh, Reservoir. This is the area where you enter, where you could potentially start seeing some, uh, some buffalo. And I don't know, maybe the gate is defective or something, but somebody left the gate open, which, uh, which you're kind of not supposed to do because they don't want any of these buffalo to get out of here. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this thing and uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut the gate behind us. Oh no, look at this, Matt. They buried it into the ground here, so you don't open and close it anymore. They just made it wide enough for people to get through. Yeah, man, I'm gonna tear this pack up, dude. I'm gonna take it off first before I before I move over through it. So yeah, I'm gonna so go do that. Squeeze through it. Yeah, you got X pack, so you'll be you'll be golden. How you feeling, Matt? Doing all right, it's hot. It is hot. Hey, Press Reservoir, here we come. We're gonna sip up some water when we're there. And then uh, we got about five miles into, uh, into Blackjack from there. Now, those five miles, they're not gonna be very much fun, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna still have a great time. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like the looks of this place. There's nothing but like ravens everywhere, dude, just like calling about us, dude. <laughs> just a, just a, a murder of crows, just massive uh, uh, zombie crows. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm, I mean, I'm happy to be here, but I'm a little worried. <laughs> I think they're waiting for us to die so they can peck at our uh, food and our uh, whatever our remains. I don't know where I'm going with this. All I know is I'm scared. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. I'm scared.
It is brutal today, man. The sun is just absolutely scorching us. Um, last time we came over here, last time we came over here, um, it was a month earlier, so it was definitely cooler. I mean, you could you could really feel it in the air, but today has been absolutely kick butt hot. Um, the interesting thing was is that the the weather we weren't expecting it to be this hot I mean, it, it certainly didn't allude to the fact that it was going to be what seemed like in the 80s like upper 80s I mean the weather said it was supposed to be in the 60s. So that's a huge difference And uh, we've been walking pretty much all day. We we stopped at the uh, reservoir over there and took a good long breather But uh, we're on our last three miles here uh, into uh, blackjack and uh, we got an up and a down and a really big up into blackjack, but then we'll be done. We'll finally be there. And we can wrap up this day and then uh, look forward to the next day. So, yeah, we're going well, but uh, very hot. This is pretty interesting here on the uh, Trans Catalina Trail. Looks like they got a uh, chair made of old signs. It's, uh, it's slow going, man. I'm not going to lie. It is rough. Got Matt coming down right now. That sun just ate us up. It's gonna be great, but uh, yeah, today that sun ate us alive. Well, Matt just reminded me that yeah, we uh, we got to camp. We didn't do anything but just set up our tents and kind of kind of get changed and stuff like that. But yeah, we made it here. We actually made it in the daylight, which is great. That was kind of a personal uh, personal goal for me uh, to make it in the daylight. But it was a brutal trip today. I am not gonna lie. But uh, we got our two tents set up. Matt here, he's rocking the uh, Altiplex, a uh, .74 version. Yeah, very controversial. Very controversial. And uh, I'm using the uh, Skyscape Trekker again. I thought that would be absolutely perfect for this adventure. All the uh, breeziness that I could handle. What we're also gonna do after our little gear explosion right over here at the table, we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably make some dinner. I'm gonna have some abuelita. I think Matt brought his too. I got I brought a couple packets for him and gave it to him. I hope he I hope he still kept them. Yeah, they're, they're in the pocket of my. That is going to be a home run tonight. Absolutely positively, I promise you, you will not be sorry for drinking that, unless you're allergic to cinnamon or something well, like I, that. You know my stomach is bad. Is it gonna? Am I gonna wake up in the middle of the night with like really bad indigestion? Uh, I don't want to say yes, but <laughs> I really don't know how to finish that statement. I found my new camp drink. I ate. A, I had a um, diet coke. It was called Fiery Cherry, and they put like like chilies in it, I guess. And it, I last Saturday, and I was like destroyed all day and night. Well, dude, uh, let's I, let's hope that's not the case this time. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm getting my miso soup ready. That's going to be dinner number one, and then afterwards what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit up some of this All-American Works Burger. Right over here, so this is, uh, this is dinner. You got some miso soup there, and uh, All-American All -American Works Burger right over there. Well, it was quite a tough day, I have to admit. Uh, that 11 miles was a rough 11 miles, but uh, we made it. And uh, tomorrow we got something like 13 miles, but uh, it should be a little bit easier miles overall, so it, uh, it won't be as bad as today. But yeah, today was kind of brutal at some points, and the sun absolutely ate us alive. Doesn't mean that tomorrow the sun won't eat us alive, but uh, it's just going to be different. The, uh, the flow of the terrain is just going to be vastly different. We had a lot of ups, a lot of, a lot of downs. Um, just, yeah, it was not optimal today. But we're here. We're ready for tomorrow. We get some uh, breakfast burritos tomorrow at the airport in the sky, and then have our dinner at uh, at um, what was I gonna say at uh, Two Harbors. So yeah, should be a fun day. Uh, good morning, everyone. We are packing up from Blackjack. We're gonna be heading over to the airport in the sky. It's really, really foggy this morning, so it should be pretty interesting once we get to the airport what it's gonna look like because we got to go up uh, a little bit to get to there. Today the goal is to get to two harbors and I have to pick up the key for Parson Landing for our locker. Um, so yeah, we got a couple of time deliverables that we got to work on today. So we're going to go ahead and pack up and get uh, moving along. But uh, before we do all that, we're going to make sure that when we get to the airport in the sky that we're going to get a breakfast burrito from the, uh, from the restaurant up there. 
that that's an important piece, an important time deliverable today as well. well we are completely socked in with uh, fog this morning as we're heading over to the airport. That's where the trail continues up and into like a little bit of a valley and then we uh, kind of skirt the side of a side of a hill and get up to the airport. So from here on out, it's not too terribly bad. Uh, we should get there with plenty of time to get, get there for right when the uh, restaurant opens. That way we don't burn any more time. Matt's here, he's doing great. I'm here, I'm doing so-so. <laughs> and uh, we continue on. Breakfast burritos. Heck yeah. Getting there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have finally made it to uh, the airport in the sky. Now, I love that sign. It says hikers welcome. So I guess it's uh, it's true. Stinky money is still money. So come on in. Yay! I love this place. It's nice and clean. The food's good. Oh, the bathrooms are clean too. That's another really great, great thing about this place. Yeah, buddy. Breakfast burrito time. None better than breakfast burrito and a Gatorade. <laughs> Sounds yummy, right, Matt? It does. And you got an airplane taking off over there, heading over to the runway, I would assume. But uh, yeah, we had our brick, uh, breakfast burritos. We're prepped for the trail. We got about another, what is it? We got six miles to uh, Little Harbor, and then like another four to uh, to Two Harbors. So, got about 10 miles left today to do, and the sun is coming out. So uh, that should be should be pretty fun. Cooler. It does feel a little bit cooler, but it is very early in the morning too. So we need to get booking along. So just to kind of give you guys an idea of where we're going to be traveling today, we're going to be going across there. Some at some point we're going to drop down and head all the way down to Little Harbor. Then we're gonna come out of there, we're gonna take that ridge line up there all the way. There's like a little gazebo right over there. Then keep taking that ridge line and then back down into two harbors. And uh, that section out of Little Harbor all the way to two harbors is not fun. You gain a ton of elevation and you drop a ton of elevation. So. Yeah, that's gonna be hilarious at the end of the day after doing everything else to, to try to manage that. So, good times. Alrighty, we've been doing doing this, man. We didn't take Sheep Shoot Road like a, a lot of people do, like we did last time. We're taking the actual trail. And uh, in this next part, we kind of skirt the side of this hill over here, but at some point, if I understand it correctly, we're gonna come up on top and actually be able to look into the valley and might even be able to see some buffalo this time finally. So. We have not seen uh, any buffalo at all. Except for me. Do you actually saw one? No. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, we're, we've seen a lot of buffalo crap everywhere and uh, tracks, so we know they're there. Just uh, we haven't seen them. Even the last time, even last time we went to uh, uh, Catalina, it wasn't until we got to this part that we saw a whole bunch of them. And then, man, they never seemed to leave after that. So uh, it should be pretty interesting this next little bit of the trail. All right, so uh, one, other thing, one other thing that I wanted to mention, just to kind of give you an idea of where we're gonna be going today. So if you look way out there, we're gonna be walking that ridge. And then, uh, let me go, dig, go ahead and take my finger out of there. Up, right over there, there's a little dot on top of the mountain. That's the gazebo that we were at, the gazebo that we were at last year. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take that ridge all the way up until that antenna over there just past Matt, and then that's what we're gonna take down into into Two Harbor. So that's the rest of our route today. We're gonna go down into Little Harbor, which is down in that little valley over there, and then come out of there through a brutal section of trail. But uh, not undoable, just uh, not the most fun in the world. Finally made it over here to Little, Har Little Harbor. That was a brutal trek, man. We uh, instead of taking sheep uh, sheep shoot road like most people do, we went ahead and took the actual Trans Catalina Trail, and it added a couple miles to to get over here. And it was it was a lot of up and down there too, man. It, at least with sheep shoot road, I mean you're just going down, and it kind of makes for an easy easy walk into Little Harbor. But uh, that was brutal. But we're here at Little Harbor. We're gonna go ahead and get some snacks and get, then get booking again, cause uh, yeah, it's already it's already past 12. We're not making very good time right now, but uh, we're gonna keep at it. Here we are at that one area where there's been like massive erosion. Look at this. There's been some pretty recent. Let me see if I can zoom in. Some pretty recent pieces of the trail broken off. I mean, look how thin the trail gets over there. There's some gigantic cracks. Back right over, right over there, which would make sense because that looks like that area right there has broken off not too long ago either. So, yeah, kind of a interesting area. Very beautiful to see all this stuff, but very terrifying all, all at the same time. So, onward we go. Try to zoom in here. I try to zoom in here. That's a guy who just passed me, and it's gonna be going up, 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 up over there, and over to that gazebo right up there. And then you go across, and then there's just like one little hill left to like a uh, a tower, antenna tower, and then you just head straight down into two harbors. So we're uh, we're getting there. That's the last. Really, really difficult part, other than the part where you go down into two harbors. That part is absolutely diabolical. But uh, this part is no, uh, no cakewalk either. Just even to get to this point was absolutely brutal. But we're getting there. Well, there it is. 
That is the final go screw yourself before the uh, last and final final go screw yourself. This trail is absolutely brutal. That's about the nicest thing I could say. But we're getting there. Almost to two, uh, two harbors. Yesterday was something else. That was some pretty tough terrain that we had to go through. I'm not looking forward to today because right out of camp, we got about a, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile, a little bit more than that, maybe half a mile walk to the trailhead. And then we go straight up like 1,500 feet. So I'm not looking forward to today, but uh, we do have less mileage overall to get to uh, Parson Landing, about eight miles. And then hopefully we can get there early enough so that we can actually rest in camp. That's been one of the hardest things is basically getting to, to places with uh, time to rest before we have to expend a bunch of energy again. But last night we were able to eat in town and that certainly helped. Um, but uh, yeah, today we're going to be heading to Parson Landing and uh, I'm looking forward to, to getting there and then finally being able to relax. I also want to show you guys that uh, got the Swift decks here in the in the Skyscape Trekker. It's a nice slip with all four panels open. It's a, it's a very nice night. You see Matt's tent over there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can really see. There you go. Yeah, I've got all four, all four panels open. And uh, it's been pretty nice. One other thing I want to show you guys is how sturdy this thing is. Man, even with the four panels open, if you extend these poles so that it tots up, a very sturdy tent. So far, this, uh, this Skyscape Trekker has done quite well here on the Catalina Trail. This climb is something else out of, uh, out of two harbors. This isn't even, this isn't even, uh, give you an idea of how steep this area is. But uh, we're making it. We're on our way to Parson. We got about a, a 1,500 foot climb today. Or 1,700 is it? About 1,700 and two and a half miles. So it's not gonna stop just because we got to this gate over here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna keep plugging away. We're gonna take a quick breather here. And uh, but keep moving. Hopefully we can get to Parson earlier. We can kind of relax and uh, regain our strength tomorrow for the walk back to the boat. There we go. Well, I have to stop here for a second and take care of a, uh, take care of a blister. I've already, I've already got quite a setup on my, setup on my leg, or rather my foot. But this toe right here is starting to form a blister right there, so. Gotta take care of that as soon as possible. Dude, I've not felt I've not felt this defeated in a long time. We're getting there. Matt's behind me a little bit. I had to stop and do some uh, some maintenance on my feet. Really I'm kinda shocked at how much uh, how much maintenance I've had to do on my feet this this trip. I mean to say that I've had some foot problems during this uh, this mini through hike uh, would be an understatement. But uh, we're making it up the hill here. I mean, this is just absolute brutal trekking. And way up over there, I think is finally the, the spot that I'm waiting for. You can kind of see right there. You see that little sign? That little thing sticking up? That's the, the sign, the Trans Catalina sign. What's ultimately supposed to happen today? What's, what's ultimately supposed to happen today is we're... We head up about 1,500-ish, 1,700-ish feet, and then uh, the walk into uh, to uh, Parson Landing is very, very relaxed. Um, you know, it's kind of a downhill walk into there with a few little hills, but uh, nothing like this. So, looking forward to getting up and over this thing and uh, getting back to some trail that's a little bit easier on uh, everything. Uh, 
this place is absolutely gorgeous up here. Wow. Got a little bit more left. This guy get up to there. I think we're finally to a point where we're up and over and things start to chill out. So it certainly doesn't seem like there's anything else behind it. So hopefully that's it. We're, we're higher than the gazebo from yesterday. Um, so I think we're, we're pretty much about as high as we can get. So again, Matt's right behind me, not too far off. And uh, yeah, we're making it. We should be at Parsons today. Onward we go. Okay, so this has to be the absolute most extreme grade that I've ever walked down. Like I had to stop and film it. Like this is, this doesn't even remotely do it, do it justice. But apparently the road is very much like this all the way down into Parson Landing. So yeah, it is what it is. I mean, we want to get there and be done with this, uh, done with this day. So we gotta, get, we gotta go through it. This is absolutely gorgeous out here right now, but my goodness, this is a very steep grade. I shouldn't be filming right now, but yeah, I'm trying to be really careful as I walk down this hill. But man, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Everything is so green and beautiful. Unbelievable. Look, look where Matt's at and this, his height in comparison to me. This is crazy steep right here. Yeah, it's tough. Last mile. Whoa. Yeah. Alrighty, so we are finally here at Parson Landing. I went ahead and I set up my tent already because I needed it to dry out from the night before. So uh, it's a little bit uh, breezy here. So uh, that should dry out pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, we're getting all set up. Um, we're going to go ahead and eat some food, man. I'm absolutely famished. The, uh, the walk out of Two Harbors is something else. It's definitely not what I was expecting. The walk into Parson Landing is, is equally as brutal. Uh, just really steep, steep, scary stuff. So uh, yeah, just happy to be here. Went ahead and fired up the stove here. I'm gonna make some uh, soup. Uh, ostentatious tortilla soup. Soup, stew or something? No, ostentatious tortilla soup from uh, Packet Gourmet. It's gonna be pretty good. Had to build a little bit of a uh, windbreak over here because it's getting kind of getting kind of windy. But uh, yeah, looking forward to have this meal. Dude, this trip has been something else, man. I'm finally starting to feel like a normal human being again. We got here, gosh, what was it like? A little bit before one o'clock, right? It was like 12:30. Something like about 12:30 or so. Pretty much since then until now, and it's, what is it now? Three. Three, right now it's 3.30. Pretty much from 12.30 to 3.30, I've either been rehydrating, cleaning, or, or just trying to relax. Dude, that's how absolutely destroyed I was. Uh, I'm starting to finally feel a little bit better. I've gotten cleaned up, I've gotten changed and everything. I'm having some abuelita. It's a little bit windy here, so it's not so easy to, to kind of film all the stuff that we're doing, but gosh, dude, finally I'm starting to feel like a normal human being again and wanting to bring out the camera again. I mean, earlier today I was absolutely destroyed. Um, I had little to no interest in pulling out the camera. Like, th this was some of the most rugged terrain that I've ever walked. Um, the grade when we were coming down into, into uh, Parson Landing here was just, brutal like I almost took a spiller two times and I even said to Matt like man I don't have the muscle for this like I was catching myself as, as it was happening and just you know how you stiffen your entire body when you know you're about to fall and I was able to catch myself with my trekking poles but I, I had to use a fair amount of my leg muscle to kind of keep me up from from falling and I was just saying like man I don't even have the muscle strength for that <laughs> like the, <laughs> the worst possible time any of that could happen but um we got here eventually, but boy, it was it was at quite a cost. So 
we got everything set up. We're all starting to feel a lot better, both Matt and I. Um, we found some cards in one of the boxes over here. So we're gonna see if we maybe play some cards tonight. We'll see. But uh, we're doing better, man. That's, that's the important thing. We're starting to finally turn that corner and start to feel normal again. Get ready for that last, that last eight and a half miles. Um, it's a road walk, but uh, it takes us all the way back to Two Harbor. Uh, two harbors and we'll pick up the boat and get the heck out of here and as it stands right now I have zero plans to come back and do this again. This was brutal. Alright so here's my food bag and this is what remains. This is all my, my drinks and stuff for this time. I got one more abuelita, I got some, uh, there we go, I got one more abuelita, I got some waka coffee, got some uh, taster's choice and I think I might have, yeah I got two more propels left. I'm drinking like one of the last ones. I've been drinking those throughout this thing. It's really helped out to kind of get some uh, electrolytes back in. But that's uh, that stuff right there. And uh, tonight, I got a couple of misos left. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have both of them. Uh, I can't imagine I wouldn't. I'm just... You feel like a big pot of it. Yeah, like I, what I'm basically trying to do is I'm trying to rehydrate as much as I can. Trying to get as much salt in me as I can trying to get as many liquids into me as, as I can. So have a couple of misos left. And then I have a, um, a packet gourmet All-American Works burger that I'm gonna have a little bit later tonight. That's my actual dinner. I got some Romero's, uh, some Romero's tortillas right here to go with it. A Couple of those and then tomorrow, what I'm gonna do, I got a couple pieces of sharp cheese too. But tomorrow really, the only thing that I'm gonna be having is a Belvita and a coffee and basically heading out because the idea is we're going to get back to two harbors early enough to um to have breakfast at the uh, restaurant over there so that's the that's the idea we'll see if it pans out so here's my home away from home tonight the uh six moon design skyscape trekker went ahead and i staked it off staked it off with rocks in a couple of spots on the doors and over here at the front of the tent I always bring some twine with me, just in case I ever have to stake with rocks, but uh, yeah, got those all set up, everything's set up perfectly fine, and uh, yeah, excited to use this thing once again, it's worked out great so far on the Trans Catalina Trail, I'm sure it'll work out great tonight as well. I think due to all the wind, um, I'm probably going to be sleeping with it closed. Uh, entirely, but uh, yeah, so far so good with the Skyscape Trekker. Oh, here we are, day three. At the end of the day, uh, we just got into our tents right now. It's barely, the sun barely went down and it started to rain just as we got into our tents. So, what we're gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna wake up super duper early. Hopefully, it's not still raining. We got eight and a half miles or so, nine miles to get back to uh, town to uh, Two Harbor two harbors to catch a boat and yeah we're gonna we're gonna have to make it happen no matter what even if it's raining we're gonna have to do that uh, road walk back so uh, feeling pretty warm right now pretty good in my setup and uh, yeah we're exhausted after today talk to you guys tomorrow okay well I guess the trail had one more uh, lol moment for me a little laugh out loud moment I took a massive spiller at Parson, and uh, I won't show you the, the carnage underneath there, but it's rough. But I walked with Matt that whole way from Parson back to, uh, back to Two Harbors. We're about to turn into Two Harbors. We're right at the last part over here. Literally, you turn that corner and you see Two, Harbor, two Harbors. But um, yeah, this trail was something else. What do you say, Matt? That yeah, was- It was tough. Dude, that was, that was brutal. I'm super glad to be done with it. Dude, I look like I've, I look like I've aged about like 50 years. <laughs> I'm so happy that this is done. I have zero plans to ever come back, not even to visit and say hello. This, uh, this place absolutely beat me up for three days straight, but uh, we're about to finish the uh, Trans Catalina Trail officially. 38 miles, some of the most brutal terrain I've ever been in over the last three days, so 
Good stuff. And there it is, Two Harbors. I am so excited to get down there into town. We're gonna grab some breakfast this morning. And uh, right after that, yeah, we're gonna go over there, right in the middle of the, uh, the frame. That's where they got a restaurant and everything. We're gonna go ahead and get some breakfast this morning and uh, wait for our boat to come in and get the heck out of here. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, make sure to hit the bell for notifications. That way you'll know every time I post a video. Until next time, take care.